It's what you want. I mean, you have to find ways to reinvent yourself and get you out there, and that's what we're looking for. A project in Ford County that's been in the works for more than a decade is finally about to start. Farmland south of Route 9 in Paxton is set to be developed. Joe Warner originally put the plan in motion, but now his daughter and brother are building on his foundation. WCI3's Tyler Hill is live in the newsroom. Tyler, what are their plans for the area? Brandon, it will be mostly housing. The first phase plans to provide 35 single-family homes and 11 duplexes. The site will also have a half-acre park in the middle to be used as a green space. People are wanting to come to Paxton. He says it doesn't just magically happen, though. You need the right infrastructure. Part of economic growth is, is housing. And without housing and people you know, wanting to come here and live, it makes it difficult to attract more people to come here in town. This project was first introduced by developer Joe Warner, but he passed away in 2013 before it could start. Now his daughter and younger brother have taken up the mantle to complete their relative's vision. I've always been a, a, a fan of this, a, a proponent of getting all this stuff down and, and working in here. So uh, when they said they were ready to start, uh, I was already on board and tripped and triggered and ready to go. The first phase of construction would build almost 40 homes on land in between Route 9 and I-57. Paxton Mayor Bill Ingold says the city needs something like this. Now, since we've decided seeing some of this uh, new growth and uh, with the activity that we have going on in the main street uh, that we're really proud of, there was an opportunity to build more houses. And businesses can see the vision. The more people that are in Paxton, the more business we likely would have. So that definitely helps us uh, out uh, quite a bit. So. Ingold says this is the next step in making sure people are attracted to the city. Anything you can do to promote your town, and that's what we've done in the downtown. And I, I keep saying it, and people are tired of hearing it, but we don't have a natural resource like a, a Lake of the Ozarks or a, a, a Grand Canyon or anything why people want to come to Paxton. you got to give them a reason. We the project has three total phases, and Ingold says if they get all three done, it would be a grand slam. He also told me developers are starting to look to break ground in 2025, but says he would not be surprised if they are breaking ground as soon as this winter. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tyler Hill, WCIA3, your local news leader. Tyler, thank you.